We're on Eddie Yoparik Bet Mishnah Ba. Mishnah says, Losha Dreim Amar Rabbi Shmael, Vlo Hodul Rabbi Akiva. The Shmael said three things Rabbi Akiva did not, that to which Rabbi Akiva did not agree. Meaning not three halacha, but halacha about regard, same halacha regarding three items. They are shum, garlic, v'ha boser. Boser are unripe grapes. V'ha melilot. Melilot, should be scan, melilot are, are, shibalim shelo bashu kutorim. They are ears of corn or grain that they didn't ripen properly. So all the, and they had the witness in them. Let's go melilot, melilot for a second. Melilot, this is uh, the, uh, the jastro. Ripe ear, a parched ear. Okay, so these are parched ears of that they, they use. They use their juice. They wouldn't waste anything. So what they would do is they crush them before Shabbat. Mibo means when it's still day, i.e. before Shabbat. So there's a halacha called mashkin shizavu. You're not, let's say, for example, you have a fruit. You're not allowed to squeeze a fruit. Uh, I don't know, oranges. You're not allowed to squeeze oranges on Shabbat. Okay, because, and that's an iser called schita. So the halacha is not only that, but let's say I have grapes, I have a bunch of grapes, and I leave them, and then they drip. The water, the, the juice comes out of it naturally. Can I enjoy that juice on Shabbat? The answer is no. Why? Because if you start enjoying the juice from the grape, you're going to squeeze the juice, and that's sita de oraita. Okay, that's prohibited de oraita, especially for grape juice. So therefore, that's called mashkin shezavu. Okay, uh, liquid, that zavu, that flow. That's asur. But what about these things? What about the shum? Or other things. We have boser, shum is garlic, boser is the, the, the unripe grapes, the, un, the unusable grapes, and the melilot, these parched ears of grain or corn. Should we scam it And you already crushed them during the day, and now there's stuff blowing out of them. Rabbi Shemal Omer, Yigmor, Mishetech Shach. Rabbi Shemal says, Yigmor means you're allowed to finish them. So it, it's unclear. It sounds something more. It doesn't mean you're allowed to do anything, but you can enjoy them. You can you can use the juice, Mishetech Shach, after Shabbat, once it gets dark, from Koshech. Rabbi Akiva Omer, Rabbi Akiva says, Lo yigmor. No, you can't benefit from them. You can't use them. Why? So, what's the matter? Okay. Lo yigmor. Kedei lecha lachar kshigidei shem. After you make Kiddush, after it's uh, Shabbat. Yasurim kishar mashkim zavu. It's like all other mashkim shizavu. Uh, juices that flow. What about that? And, and Rabbi Akiva says, Rabbi Shemal says, Yigmor. Me'achar shaviz gam v'kita me'erv Shabbat. Since you, you, l'rasek means to crush them. L'rasek means to pull them apart and crush them before Shabbat. You can benefit from them on Shabbat. It's not like Mashkim Shezavu that are Asur. Even if you squeeze it a little bit, there's no Isur Deoraita. So therefore, there's not even, according to uh, Rabbi Ishmael, Gzeira, Rabbi Kiva says, Lo Yigmor, sorry, we don't want to distinguish because people will come to do Sita. Let's stop here and dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Harav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.